Hi guys, it's Katrina here. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, um, Bunnies and Budgies, or Budgies and Bunnies, I can't remember her name, I'll link to her channel down in the description. Um, she asked me if I could do a Budgie Cage tour, and I did say I already did one. However, the previous one I did, it was in 240p, which is terrible quality, and I was also sick, so I um, thought I'd do an up dated cage tour since um, I did clean out the cage this morning and I also rearranged everything so yeah let's get to it okay so before I um, okay so before I start off I just wanted to quickly apologize for the lighting as I was busy and I had to come back to film I'm back so let's start with this so first here in the far corner we have these two wooden shoe toys that I made and in front of those, we, I also have this rope swing here that I believe came with Sky's Cage when I bought it. Over here, I'm just going to show you through the bars because I can't reach it properly. I also have another wooden shoe toy, and that is made from pony beads and buttons and wood blocks as well. Over here, I have the cuddle bone, which I'm going to have to replace very soon as it is falling apart. Here is one of their perches, and it's just kind of a flat-ish perch. Here are two of their favorite, I like to call them ghost chew toys, just because they kind of look like ghosts, but I don't know. Um, and I made those. And there's also this perch right here, and I made that, as well as this perch here, and I also made that. Up here we have this little dangling toy that I made for them a little while ago, um, and that has bits of chain links, and buttons and pony beads as well as bread clips. Here they have another wooden swing. This one's like the classic budgie swing that also came with Sky's original cage, I believe. In the corner here, in the other corner, the right corner, they, I, we also have this DIY toy, but they never use that. And also here is another cherry wood perch. Over here is, a, I believe, an elm perch. That's their water dish and it's dirty but I just cleaned it. Here they have this, not the bars, but here they have this sort of thing that I normally use as a bridge but I tried putting it like that to see if they want to use it as a ladder. Under the water dish I have this little paper chew toy that I made and the strings that I just made and I just put it up so I have to still cut off the strings. And. Last but not least, I have the food bowls on the bottom of the cage, and um, the reason I have them down there is partly because their regular food bowls won't fit inside, or not fit, but they won't stick to the bars as they're not shaped the right way, and I also find that they like it better on the floor, and they don't poop on it either, so. So now I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the cage, one from inside and one from outside. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that quick little updated budget cage tour video. And no, I'm doing like a vlogging style right now because I'm too lazy to put the camera back on the tripod. But um, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!